First off, I'm a strong believer in the paranormal and I enjoy watching Ghost Adventures, Nukes Top 5 and other creepy related videos. I've experienced a few paranormal instances in the past but since I was just a kid I was never able to document the incidents. So when I managed to find an apartment for rent that was cheap I knew something was up with the place. The atmosphere in the apartment was eerie but I didn't let that bother me and continued to move my belongings into said apartment. Things were great and nothing out of the ordinary happened. At least that's what I thought at first. There'll be times when I'll find my keys in different places or there'll be an occasional draft of cold air that would move around the apartment. I didn't immediately go straight to ghosts and instead thought of logical explanations for all of it. You know the, I must have misplaced my keys or there's a crack in the seam of the windows kind of explanations. I brushed off the word incidents and continued on with my life. The incidents happened so often that I barely noticed them. Things escalated when I decided to adopt an old stray tomcat named Pepper. He was a grumpy cat, so I knew he'd be alright on his own when I'm at work. We sort of had a mutual friendship. He would do his thing while I did my own thing. What prompted me to put up security cameras in my living room and bedroom? Well, one night I was laying down on my bed scrolling through my Facebook when I heard this noise. The pss 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 sound we make to get a cat's attention. I thought Pepper had gotten into something and decided to see what he was up to. So I walked out into the living room to see that Pepper was asleep in his cat tree. I looked around to see if he did get into something and just happened to fall asleep when I got out there. I didn't see anything out of place. Now I was standing there scratching my head trying to figure out what could have made that sound. I was going through a list of things when a tapping noise came from the coat closet near the door. Just for the record, the apartment complex is 3 stories and I live on the 3rd floor. Being on the 3rd floor and the last apartment on the right side, I was given a special addition to the apartment. A small storage space above the court closet. Curious and a bit frightened, I cautiously approached the closet and listened for a while before I opened the door. There was nothing inside the closet, but the door to the storage space was at an odd angle. The door is more like a board used to cover the entry of the storage, but in order to move the door, you need to push it upward and then slide it to the side. Now I know that my apartment was indeed haunted, because there's no way that the storage door could have been moved by some draft and I sure as hell don't remember opening it. The next few days consisted of my work, waiting for something to show up on the security cameras, and trying to convince myself that I wasn't afraid or crazy. Because as soon as I installed the cameras, the activity just stopped. The only thing that continued was the tapping noise. Every once in a while during the night, I would be walking up by the tapping. It would go on for a minute before it would stop, then it would pick up again for a few hours later, by this time, I'm just barely holding on to my sanity. My co-workers noticed this change in my attitude when I would go into work. Looks like somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Aren't you just a little ball of sunshine? Not a morning person. It takes all of my strength not to blow up on them. I'm agitated by the little things that everyone does, and it's exhausting. That's when I finally had enough and called a local priest and asked if he can bless my apartment or exercise it. When the priest agreed and planned to come to my apartment after services, I was so happy and glad that I'll no longer be kept awake all night. That night I actually fell asleep. I actually managed to fall asleep and stay asleep. The next day, the priest stopped by after services and went around exercising my apartment. After he finished, I thanked him and walked him to the door. I thought that was the end of it, but I was so wrong. A few days later, I noticed a disgusting smell that seemed to move around the apartment. I looked everywhere to find the source of the smell, but I just couldn't. I was worried that the exorcism hadn't worked and thought about calling the church again when someone knocked on my door. Hello, I'm Juliana from next door. I couldn't help but notice a rotten smell coming from your apartment. A petite brunette stood before me. I looked at her and sighed. Yeah, I've been searching for the source of the smell, but I can't seem to find it. I think there might be a dead animal in the walls or something. Juliana looked at me and nodded her head. We talked for a bit more before she had to go back to her apartment. I ended up calling the manager of the complex and explained the situation to him. He said he'll call animal control to check if there's any rotting corpses in the walls. It took a few days for them to completely search the entire apartment, but they couldn't find the source. Within those few days, the smell had worsened and it would burn my nostrils. It was so bad that I had to stay with a friend of mine until they figured this out. I had to remove the cameras so I took them with me. Besides, I totally forgot that the cameras had been recording the entire time until I had to take them down. I asked my aunt if she could watch Peppa for me since my friend was allergic to cats. 
She said yes, so I dropped him off first. When I got to my friend's place, I hooked up the system and started to play back the video. It wasn't a ghost that had been haunting me, it was the living. I watched horrified as a man walked out of the court closet and slowly moved around my apartment. I felt sick to my stomach. I have been sleeping in an apartment with a man hiding in the storage place. I ran to the bathroom and hurled my lunch into the toilet. The rotting smell wasn't an animal, it was him. I have killed someone. I closed the door to the storage so the guy had no way out. The tapping had been him trying to get my attention but he was so weak to begin with. The guy was already on death's door when I locked him in the attic. His name was Brandon Marshall, a homeless veteran that had been living on the streets for years before he finally found a nice place to stay. The attic in my apartment. I can't forgive myself.